Okay, in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to add a color mat and an adjustment layer to do some color correcting and adding color to our videos. So once again, I have the basketball footage here. I'm gonna go down here into the project panel and on the bottom here, where it says new item, I'm gonna click on that once and we're gonna start off with the color mat. So let me click on that. These settings should be perfect for whatever uh, size video you have in here. So you don't need to mess around with these for now. We'll click OK. And then we need to choose a color. I'm going to move around and um, maybe choose something like this just for the heck of it. And we're going to click OK. Make sure that you select the color. Don't just slide things because uh, it'll default to being black all the time and you don't want that. So even if I go like this and go, okay, there's blue, it's still gonna do black. So you have to actually click on it um, to make it work. So I'm gonna click okay now. I'm gonna change this to uh, olive because it's the color and I can always remember. And here it is right here. We're going to bring that on top of the footage and all of a sudden you can't see anything. So we're gonna fix that in a second. But first, I'm gonna click on the olive and I'm going to go to the end of it and I should get this little icon. I'm gonna drag it over to the right and now it's covering the whole scene below. Now, with this selected, we're gonna go back up here into the effects controls and we're gonna go down a little bit to where we see opacity and we're going to hit the little arrow down. I'll close this up there. So now we're working in opacity. And if I click inside here and type in 50%, you can see our image is starting to come through because we are going to have 50% uh, opaqueness or transparency that we can see through. Uh, if I drag it all the way to the left, there's zero. And I go to the right, it's 100%. You can't see anything. So that's interesting. You can play around with these numbers, see if there's a little bit of uh, stuff that you like. But let's go down below one uh, area and you'll see it says blend mode right here. This is where it gets really powerful with coloring with this way. Uh, if you used Photoshop at all, you may remember that uh, there is a blend mode. So um, that might come natural to you. But if you go down here, blend modes blend whatever the top uh, image is. So in this case, it's an olive colored color mat and it blends it with the bottom footage that you have underneath it. So it kind of does some interesting things. So I'm going to choose overlay to start out with an overlay is going to overlay the green onto that uh, image. So let's see what it looks like. So there we go. There's green. Everyone's green. Okay. So that's kind of interesting. Um, and then we can go into things like screen where it's a little lighter. You can do multiply, it makes it darker. Um, we can do things like hard light. So there's a light source going through it. Uh, you can divide it. I mean, you can do a ton of stuff with it. And of course, if we go back to screen, for example, let me go back to, where is it? Overlay. Um, once again, I can go down and choose 50% here and change it so it's a little more subtle. And even more than that, I can sc scroll down just a little bit more. And maybe that's a little bit better than I had it before, but it still looks different enough that it's, uh, you can tell it's been colored a little bit. Now to see the before and after, if you go up here, anytime you see this FX icon here, if you click on it, you'll see the before and the after, and you can see that that's going on. Okay. Um, also, inside of the timeline here, you can also toggle on these little eyeballs to see what it looks like. That's before, that's after. You can see the subtle change in green. If that's hard to see, we'll crank it up a little bit. And then uh, we'll do it like that. That's before and that's after. And then if you need to, if you like green's not my color, if I double click on this, I can once again uh, go down and start playing with other colors. So maybe it's a little more blue outside today. 
from the clouds. I can change it to that on the spot. And of course, I want to go in here and change the name to blue. Okay, so this is more of a gray day. The clouds are out, right? Look at that sky. It looks nice. And that's what you do with the color mat. So let's turn the color mat off for a second. We're going to now go back to the new item icon. And we're going to choose an adjustment layer. And we're going to once again leave this all the same. And now I'm going to drag that adjustment layer on top. I have to go to the end to extend it. There I go. And now I've got my adjustment layer. So now we're going to go into some even deeper tools. And I'm only going to show you some beginner type stuff with them. But if you go to the top here, so once again, I've got my four panels. But if I go to the top here where it says window, and I scroll down to uh, where I see something called Lumetri Color right here. Click on it once. That's going to open up the Lumetri Color panel on the right side. So now I can go in here and start to play with uh, the different uh, colors and do all kinds of stuff. This is a professional level coloring tool. So I'm going to just start off with basic correction here. And um, one of the things I thought about this shot is it's really dark in these areas. So I might open the exposure level. So by opening the exposure level to the right in positive numbers, I'm letting more light in to the scene. So let's see, we started here. If I go to the right a little bit. I don't want to go too far because then it's blown out. But just maybe a little more light so there's some light outside. So I went over to 0 0.8. Um, the contrast, which makes it rich, um, I'm going to leave that alone for now. My highlights, if I go to the right, it's going to make the whites, uh, like more, uh, not the whites, but the light that's coming in um, really highlight certain areas. So if you see, if I go down to zero here, it's a little darker underneath the the uh, basket. I might just tweak that a little tiny bit right there. And I can go to the top here and look at before and after again by toggling on the FX area. Now I'm going to look what the shadows have to do. So shadows are all over the place. So if I go to the left, the shadows are going to be darker. If I go to the right, the shadows will be lighter. So let's see. I was hoping to see a little bit more of the trees here, but it's a really dark area over there. Uh, the whites are going to make the whites whiter. So if I go down here, you see the white color is getting a little bit uh, darker. And then we go back. You can see the whites a little whiter. I kind of like that. We just barely moved it. Let's look at before and after again. Before and after. That looks good to me. Uh, and then the blacks are going to be all, anything that's dark. Like if I go down here, you see absolutely nothing on that side. So we're going to lessen the uh, blacks a little tiny bit. I don't want to go too far because then it starts to get a little uh, fuzzy looking and stuff. So I might just go maybe a point, like a two. I'll leave that alone right there. And we're going to play that. And let's play this video. So that looks nice to me as like a basic color correction. And you can see the before and after. That was the original footage. This is with our little, um, our color correcting. So I've done all the basic color correcting here. I'm gonna turn that off. Next thing I can do is start being creative with it. Um, do I want to uh, change the vibrance, sharpen it, add faded film look? So if it looks like a faded film, all these things I really don't need right now. So with the create, and also something up here is where it says look. And these are all uh, different colors that you can add to, um, to your video. And these are all what are called LUTs, L-U-T-S, and they're look up table. That's what it stands for. And what you're going to do with these, these are different types of film and film grain. Like here's Kodak film. Like I said, this is a very professional tool. So if I choose something like that, that's what that kind of film would actually look like if we um, shot it on film. And then uh, there's other things down here that you can change. Here's blue steel. We can go to an iron. I mean, there's all kinds of fun stuff you can play around with. Now, when you see this on the right, that's because I have uh, my color mat turned off but if I turn it on 
It's going to match that. See? So uh, I'm going to turn it off once again. But this video, right, this, this like uh, area here is going to match it. And then you can also kind of go through this to see what it looks like. It gives you samples, which is kind of fun. Here's some old black and white. Looks really cool. Okay, so I'm going to go back here to none. And uh, we're going to close this off. And then the next thing is like curves. And this is, gets really complicated, so I'm not going to get into this in this video. But we're going to look at curves, color wheels, uh, vignetting, and HSL secondary. That stands for uh, hue, saturation, and lu uh, luminance. Uh, but we'll get into that later. For now, just play around with basic correction and creative, and you can do that kind of stuff. So that's it for this uh, video. We'll be back with another video soon.